India aims to produce 50% of its total electricity from non-fossil fuel sources by 2027, a far more ambitious goal and larger percentage than the 40% by 2030 target set out by COP21. And helping the country to achieve these ambitious renewable goals are scientists at the Indian Institute of Engineering Science and Technology. India cannot afford to waste the energy. So where there was an option made for our renewable energy, so India has grasped it as quickly as possible. The institute decided to look into microgrids and created India's first combined microgrid for solar, wind and biogas. The original idea of microgrid is to provide your 24 by 7 access to electricity. So you must have a combination of sources, integration of different sources and dependable sources to get energy on demand. The institution has a wind power generator, but that only provides around 1 kilowatt. It has a solar array which can provide around 10 kilowatts. And lastly, it has a biogas plant which provides 15 kilowatts. There is a sharing of energy generation from the solar or wind or the, uh, the, the biomass. So that control has to be developed. To maintain the electrical load and to back up when supply drops, the team here have designed their own redox battery. There is a special type of battery that uses liquids and membranes rather than traditional solid components. This is the first time we have introduced such a battery and we are actually interfacing the uh, battery with the, uh, with the grid and studying its uh, properties. And this is coming out very well. By 2060, India is expected to be the world's most populous nation, so getting its energy policy right is vital. The work of scientists like Professor Saha and his team can give us hope that their country is moving in the right direction, and perhaps give us some lessons on what is possible. Still watching? Perfect. Click here to watch another great video from CNBC International. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching.